All right, so here we go. I'm almost done with the sheetrock on the ceiling. As you can see up here, I got a couple runs on that side, a couple runs on that side. We got sick, we got delayed, but today I'm gonna finish it. At the same time, I'm gonna try and multitask and make some butter. Because, you know, butter always takes so long. So I got this all set up. We're gonna start the butter, then we're gonna start the sheetrock. popping out quick and I think the key is this time we had the butter at like room temperature almost and it's going a lot faster. We got to get some shivs. Come here. We need four of those. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. One. This one. Two. Two. Three. Four. All right, come on back out here. Okay, I'm gonna put those shims up up there. Here, will you hand them to me? And it's done. The prettiest in the world? Maybe not. But ceiling hung? Yes. So we had a little wind event the other night and I discovered that one of my totems has toppled over. So I'm gonna set this bad boy back up and hope. This way we can even check if there's any mushrooms. I don't see any yet, but let's set this guy back up. So what's on the docket? We are finally. <laughs> Finally, mudding this in the bathroom. Make it a real bathroom. That's still terrible. Yes. Could it be possible? Could we actually eventually finish it off? What is she singing? <laughs> So, I am the apprentice. I'm mixing the mud so Brienne can, doesn't have to get up and down so much. And then I just transfer it, boom, to the master. And she puts it up. That is teamwork. <laughs> when children are helping with your tape and texture, Yes. <laughs> Leave that in the wall forever. What are you doing? Say so love you, Mom. I love you. Yeah. Um, yeah. All right, so today, Malia, where are you at, girl? Over here? 
and I are gonna prime this kitchen. One step closer, we've sanded it. We're walking around, that's the whole thing. We're gonna prime it so we can paint it. Hey Malia, was that quick? Uh, Do you want down for some exercise? Uh, okay, you should get some blue tape and hang your picture up on the wall. All right, so we're all taped off. It's all in the prep sometimes in paint, and that was a pain, but uh, I think it's gonna make it a lot cleaner. Okay, guys, it's family paint day on my birthday. Okay, Dad, you're gonna open the paint. Okay. You're, do the orders, Ben. Ooh, oh, it's so pretty. Wait, wait. That is a pretty paint. Start with that. Oh my gosh, that was so good. You can't paint it that way. They have to paint it up and down. You gotta actually do both. What the heck? Okay. Who wants to roll with me? I'm out. I'll roll. I'll roll with the paint. You guys roll together. Come on, roll. Snow day. Do you remember your last Beautiful. birthday? Grand Canyon. Where were you in your last birthday? The Grand Canyon. And it snowed there. And we thought we weren't going to get a view, but the sun came out and it was oh! crazy. Oh. You're going over there?
I like the color. What do you think? It feels warm and cozy. I always go with white or gray because I was like, I scared. Scared to pick a color? Scared to pick a color I wasn't going to like. I think it goes really well with your ceiling. I was kind of scared with this one. Your kitchen's painted. Dude. As a famous lyricist once said, one step closer. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at the snow coming down. I can see you like sitting here washing some milk jars and looking at the snow. <laughs> I like how you say washing milk jars. Is that all we do now? <laughs> yeah, that's all we do. I think it goes really well with the whitewash. I can't wait to get the appliances in place and counters. Actually have a real house again. I like it. Kinda. Kinda. It's a real house. It's a real house. Russian, a little blue Can I use my tea party blanket? That would be a fanciest one. Okay. On these, cabbage, I bought these funny little containers. Cabbage, and I thought, you have to do cabbage. Okay. I bought these little containers. I think they're made by Burpee. They have those silicone little things to push the plants out. I'm not certain I'm going to like them. I don't usually like it when it's all one big connected container but we'll see um, I'm trying to figure out what I really want to use in here but I also bought these little individual forage pots um, which I've used a lot before um, I'd like to get into like a soil blocker or at least heavy duty seeds. containers um, I've been shopping around seeds. those are seeds yeah Back up. thank you um, I've been shopping around and I've found some um, of these harder plastic that you could reuse forever. Um, and I might get into those, but I wasn't ready to buy a whole bunch of those yet this year. Um, so I thought I would try these out. And then the others I got are just your standard. You did get the seeds. Not just your standard cheapy four packs. Um, what I don't like about this, if there's four of them together, that's fine. I'm not worried about the four pack. I'm, I don't like that they're cheapy and that they won't last as long. These will be able to use for a few uses, but I really want to get some system set up that I'm not because having to buy things so continuously. So that's that. Transplant Tuesday. Actually, it's Monday. Lots of kale. I think I still also need more kale. <laughs> you can't have enough kale. You can't ever have enough kale. Um. So here we have some cabbages. I've never really grown cabbages much because I didn't have a lot of space. Um, and so these have done really good. I've tried a couple different varieties of cabbages. Um, kale, we like lots of kale. Dino kale is my very favorite. So we have lots of kale. These are just our sprouts. So these are some broccolis. We have some um, Romanescos did really good. And that's like the, the I don't know, it's like a cone shaped broccoli. But the Romanescos did great. And we've always, we've grown those back in California and we really like those. So. Um, yeah, it's all kind of an experiment. We'll see how it goes. I also did a lot of um, rainbow chard. Rainbow Swiss chard, because we eat a lot of rainbow Swiss chard. So, it still doesn't feel like it's quite enough. <laughs> we will see. Next, ne never oh. enough. <laughs> Sorry. Next, we are going on to peppers. And our peppers are getting big. And I did kind of crowd them in here. I put two per um, cell on these six packs, so we're just gonna separate them out and give them each their own 
little so and that's what we're doing and eating peanut butter and jelly and singing okay so these are Madison Madison these are banana peppers and these did really well so we're just putting the banana peppers we're transplanting them again like I said again like I said um we just planted them two per cell. So we're just gonna separate them out so they each have their own cell. They bloody. Their light is coming later today. Hopefully. Um, no, it has to come or we have to pick it up because they can't go without a light. Right. 